What's up guys? Welcome back to Go Ham Disc Golf. I'm Big John. Alright, so you just got brought out to a disc golf course by a friend and you played disc golf for the first time and you said, man, this is a cool sport, I want to get deeper into it. Or you happened across a course and you might you had an old frisbee with you and you decided to start playing. Or you've been playing for a little while and you're not sure exactly what you should buy when it comes to discs. There's got to be something out there for you that's going to make you play a little better, right? Well, that's the question. What are the best beginner discs for somebody to start out with? The problem is, that's not an easy question to answer. But I can give you some options about what might help your game. But you got to remember that disc golf is like just about any, any sport out there, where if you're using the right tools, you're going to play a little better, but a lot of it comes down to practice and skill and form and technique, so don't forget that. But let's jump into it, guys. What would be some great options for beginners out there looking to make their first disc purchases or trying to fill their bag up? Let's start out with distance drivers. The first piece of advice that I want to give anybody out there who's just getting into disc golf is to stay away from maximum distance drivers. Yeah, you might see these discs out there that are speed 12, 13, that say right on the disc, maximum distance, and you're thinking, man, I want to be able to throw a disc 350, 450, 600 feet. That's the disc that says it on it. That's the one I'm gonna buy. Well, hold up a second. It might not be the best one for you. Chances are you won't be able to throw it correctly yet. So step down a little bit, throw the things that you can throw correctly. So that's where I'm gonna say we should be looking for drivers for newer players. All right, some examples of things that might be great for newer players. The Innova T-Bird, a Discraft Stalker, a Latitude 64 Fury, my favorite, the MVP Servo, or a Gateway Saber. All of these discs will give you a lot of distance, but they're also great for you to learn on. You start throwing these guys and start to get used to the disc and how it flies and seeing what you can do with it, these discs, anything I just listed there, is going to treat you really well. And these aren't the only ones. These are just five that I clipped out that are worth taking a look at, all right? Now, what about mid-ranges? What you need to realize is that your mid-range game is going to turn into your bread and butter. This is where you make up for mistakes you may have made. Maybe you shanked a drive and you need to make up some space. Or you want something that's not going to overshoot your target. Mid-range is where to go for that, all right? Now, a couple examples of something, some options you might want to pick up. The Discraft Buzz, my favorite. That's a love disc out there. The other discs that a lot of people love are the Innova Rock, all right? What about a Legacy Gauge or a West Side Warship or an MVP Axis? Any of those five will do great for you. They're all very straight flyers. They're like point and shoot mid ranges, all right? You tell it where you want it to go, you throw it correctly, and it gets there. You're going to learn to love your mid range disc. Now, as far as putters go, putters all come down to a lot of how it feels in your hand and how confident you can be in it when you're holding it, when you're about to throw it and just how it grabs the chains for you. You need to get out there and feel the different putters before you stick it down to which one is gonna be your loved putter, all right? Some of the favorites out there are the Innova AVR, the Discraft Magnet, the Dynamic Disc Judge, which is a fairly new disc, but it's also a great disc, a lot of people are liking it. The Gateway Wizard, another one that's been out for a long time that people love, and the Vibram Ridge. So that's a few examples, guys. If you're looking for something to improve your game as far as buying discs go, then take a look at these examples, check them out, see if any of them work for you, and let me know what you think. If you end up picking up a, a rock from Innova and you say, man, this disc was great. It really did what Big John said it would do. It flies straight for me. Or if you pick up a Latitude 64 Fury and you throw that guy for a month and you're like, man, it, it, it kind of feels good. I'm feeling like it's doing what I'm telling it to do and I understand how it flies and I'm learning the game a little better. All right, so what are the best beginner discs out there to buy? Not, it's not as black and white as that, guys, but those are some great examples. Check them out, look into them, see if they work for you. And on top of everything, if you go to infinitedisc.com right now, and you're thinking about buying a few discs, put in the promo code BIGJOHNJUNE and you can save an extra 5% on your order. All right? So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think. If you've been playing for a long time, tell me, was I done with these options or what were those good examples? And I know there's a couple guys out there that are going to be like, Big John, you missed my favorite mid-range or my favorite driver. Why didn't you mention it? I'm sorry, guys, but I can't talk about every single disc out there. But these are some good examples. Try them. Check them out. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to go ahead.